Hello and welcome to another episode of Photography Behind the Scenes. In this video I'm taking you with me through a session on a snowy night. And this night I was shooting with the good old Pentax K1000 loaded with a fresh roll of Kodak Gold. I know, Kodak Gold I believe is more intended for sunny scenes, not for the night, but this was what I had to my disposal that evening so I guess it's better to shoot it anyway than not, right? To allow enough light to hit the film I had to lower the shutter speed to about one second so I always set up the camera on the tripod. The first shot I was aiming to get is a simple composition down this street which looked so beautiful, almost magical thanks to all the snow covering the scene. This is the outcome. Overall I think the photograph works, I like the simplicity of the composition. Sadly however, I somehow managed to miss focus. I don't remember what I was doing but I seem to have not noticed that the photograph is out of focus and therefore we've got this light blur but it's nothing overly dramatic. Then I continued my walk and came to another street to my side with a potential composition. This time it was a large paper bin positioned under a street lamp which caught me. I was trying to balance the bin as a subject and the road as another element of my composition. This is how it turned out. I like this, it's definitely not bad, however I'm not sure about the effectiveness of the composition. See, the bin works well as the subject being conveniently highlighted by the lamp above and draws my attention to itself, but at the same time the road gives this sense of depth and creates leading lines which however lead into the opposite side of the bin, so it's a bit like the two are competing for attention, whereby the road doesn't even have a payoff you could say, and the lines lead the eye into nothing. So I don't know, is this me overthinking the composition? position or is this actually an hindrance for the subject? I'm curious to know your thoughts so feel free to leave them in the comments. After that I was walking towards the train station however before getting there my attention shifted to the right side where I found these dried out dead plants all sticking out of the snow. I believe these were sunflowers. Despite the lack of decent light here, I decided to compose these plants in a photograph and hope for a decent exposure. So the photo came out okay. I enjoyed the composition in general, but the focus of attention here is a bit off. The light of the street lamp lets the snow shine brightly in the foreground, next to which the dried plant becomes secondary, which actually was not intended for this photograph and sort of eliminates the composition. A little detail I enjoy that I'd like to point out is the background with the various lights from the town. After that I came to the train station which has this beautiful artificial light above the bicycle stands. I decided to try a composition of this scene because I felt that the lighting and the scene together had this cinematic quality to it which I wanted to capture. This is the result and oh, I love it. I think I've mentioned before that for some reason I admire a green color cast and that's exactly what happened here. The subject definitely worked out the way I hoped it to. I can't exactly tell what makes the scene so cinematic for me but those lights, the emptiness, the green tint look all amazing to me. One thing I seem to have missed is that annoying little bit of a bike on the left side of the composition. I should have just panned the camera slightly to the right but I like it nevertheless and if it seriously begins to bug me I can always just crop the image. So after shooting that photo I was doing something with my camera bag and then this happened. <gasps> Holy no! camera like this break on something like that. I only realized while re-watching the footage that a strap from my bag had gotten right under one of my tripod's legs which led to the possibly disastrous fall of the camera. It took a dent on the side and I was worried that maybe the shutter mechanism or something might have broken. I continued anyway and around the corner found this long straight path. Okay this is gonna be the test if the camera still works because I'm most worried about the shutter if the shutter actually still works. Okay, that sounded good. I, th I think the shutter still works. I think the camera's not broken. So yeah, here's the photo. The camera seems to have survived the crash, which I'm very relieved about. The photograph came out okay. I'm fond of the composition, but the colors are not quite to my liking, but it's okay.
Next, I wanted to go into the train station and onto the platform because I knew that there were some lights there illuminating the platform which could become a cool photo. So I decided to go for a simple straight down the platform composition on the right side so that I get a little bit of the train tracks in there as well. This is what I got and I'm greatly satisfied with this one. The lighting and the various colours of lights in the photograph create some interesting elements to look at and the snow that's whizzing by gives this a strongly dramatic look. I also appreciate the light effects created by the snow that hit the front of the lens which created this interesting texture around the main light in the foreground. In summary, I think this photograph turned out great. Next, I decided to exit the train station again and outside I got attracted by these lights again, this time on the other side of the station entrance. So here I'm basically getting the same shot as before, just on the other side. As was to be expected, this one turned out similarly good. Again, I'm loving that green tint of the light and the bike stands as the subject. I think, however, that I prefer the first shot, which showed the bike stands a little bit bigger. After that, I decided to leave the train station and walk down this street, which led me to a field with a beautiful road going across it, lit up by some street lamps. I composed a simple wide shot of the scene to capture the general mood here. This is what I got. I think it's quite okay considering that I wasn't even sure if the exposure was going to work out due to the lack of light beside the road. Something that becomes painfully apparent here is the vignetting. This was often visible on the previous shots as well, but not as strong as here. Then I was walking into another street where I found the front garden of a house with the frame of a swing. I thought the frame could work as a subject and conveniently a street lamp was right beside the scene to give me some extra light. I got this shot here which I enjoy a lot. The composition and subject work beautifully here I find. I also love that in the background there's also something to look at thanks to the lights back there. This gives the photo an extra layer of interest. And also, this photo has many lighting artifacts across the frame, meaning flares and reflections, which oftentimes can be an annoyance, but here I think it makes the photograph just a bit more visually interesting. Then I continued and came to a hill, which at the other side had some lamps going across it, which I felt like capturing. I got a simple wide shot, this is it. The composition is rather boring, the sky has a lot of negative space, which usually is not a bad thing in my sense. I like to use negative space, but in this case, it doesn't work for me. And here again, maybe it's due to the lack of light, the vignetting is brutal. So, that was the end of the night. My hands were freezing and I decided to head home, but I still had many shots left on the roll. Therefore, on the next day, I went out in the morning to get some more photos of the snow around here because this amount of snow in town is quite unusual. So the first shot of the morning I was getting here was a wide shot of the scene here, which included the parking area, some buildings, and a mountain in the back. Here it is. I like this, the vibe is definitely captured, and I'm enjoying the warm Kodak Gold colours here. One thing I'm not so satisfied with is the composition in general. I think I was just eager to do photography here and didn't mind the composition too much, I think it's actually quite a boring and slightly cluttered scene to shoot. Moving on a little further, I found this truck on the road, which I decided was going to be my next subject. By the way, the camera did take some damage from the fall yesterday. The lever to wind on the film doesn't snap back by itself anymore, which I guess is a very tolerable amount of damage for that painful fall. This here is the shot I got. I'm liking this. I feel a slight competition between the subjects here, the truck against the street lamp, which isn't necessarily bad in this photo, but I think a stronger focus on one subject usually works better. 
Then I found this lonely trailer, which you might have already seen in the back of the last photo. I just enjoy the sort of randomness of this trailer being parked on the road here. While composing, I had some difficulties to position the trailer in relation to the lamp. This is how I ended up doing it. I really like this photo, the trailer seems a bit lonely and random here, and the lamp I now had closely to the right of it, which I think worked out quite nicely. Then around the corner I came to this path next to this bus parking area, which I thought looked quite interesting. I got this photo, which I think turned out beautifully. The composition consists of the road, which leads into nothing actually, but I think that's not a problem here. The buses on the left add an interesting element to the photo in my opinion. I like this photo. Then this is really just a few meters onward, where I loved the randomness of this blue box or what this is, so I got a photo. I think this also worked out great. Then I was walking down the road I had just shot and I was so fond of these little gardening sheds so I tried to find a composition. This is what I got. I like this, the composition and subject matter work here, however I find the background to be a little busy and messy, but it's not really an issue. By the way, a few viewers have pointed out in previous Kodak Gold videos that this film stock really shines in sunlight and I think these photos are a beautiful example of that. I'm really enjoying the results of this morning. Then I continued to walk along the road to get another shot of a different shed here. This time I was getting a bit closer to shoot a detail. This one turned out nicely, I like it overall, however again the background is a little bit distracting but not too bad. Next, this is a little further on my walk, I came to some houses and found a garage area which looked quite promising for a decent photograph. This is it, I like it, I was fond of the garage area with all the snow lying here and I think this captures it quite well. Then a few roads further, I got a photo looking straight down the road to capture all the small details here. So what I like here is that the photograph is a simple wide shot of the scene, but the actual elements I find myself appreciating are the details unique to the area where I am. The style of the houses, the car, the lamp, and of course the pretty snow, build this index of unique hints, which indicate the time and place of this photo. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, this was the last photo of that role. I hope you enjoyed this sort of double episode. Spring is currently arriving in Austria, so this is possibly the last snowy photography session of the season. If you had a good time, I'd appreciate a like on the video, that would help this channel to grow. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I'll hopefully see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.